Good morning, guys. Uh, here's one that's a, a little bit different for you. So I wanted to just do a quick walkthrough of this because it was really a pain in the for me to figure out. So we've got some stuff that we're going to go over. So this is for people that are trying to set up a T150 or a T150 Pro steering wheel, uh, specifically for like a racing sim or just playing racing games in general. Um, I was having trouble getting it to directly plug in, so I want to show you guys exactly what I did. So, uh, with that being said, we have, let's see, have a webcam group here. There we are. You got me right in the middle. There we are. Okay. And so you guys are here on my camera. Here's the T150 steering wheel, by the way. We're going to reach around behind here. We can grab this. You guys can see this is the wheel that we are working with. And in order for this to work uh, on a PC specifically, now there's a couple of things you have to do before it will work. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make sure it is not plugged into the PC. Again, do not plug this in. Down here, on the steering wheel, we're going to point this back over there. Back here, you see that switch that says PS4, PS3? It needs to be in the PS3 position. And I'll get you a little closer so you can see. It is indeed, for me, in the PS3 position. This is, again, for PC, guys. Um, it, other the PS5, etc., it didn't matter. This worked out of the box with PS5. Um, but this for PC needs to be in the PS3 position. Okay. Um, if you just plug it in, it's not going to work on your PC, or at least in my experience, it didn't. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do, once we do all that, we're going to sit back on the counter here, or on the desk. We don't need me no more. Is this website up here? is what we need and we're gonna put it here really fast oh. I don't know what all this stuff is we're gonna put this really big here so that you can see the website it's right here in my notepad that's my YouTube bottom thing we don't need that but right, here we go so there's the the website you need oh Jesus Christ Why is this thing so dumb? There we are. Um, all right, so this is the website that you need right here. Support.thrustmaster.com slash product slash T150FFB-EN. Righto? And you're going to... Download and install this driver. Again, make sure the wheel is not plugged in. Okay? We're not plugging the wheel in yet. We're going to install this driver right here just by downloading it. Install it to wherever you want. Um, I'll try to put a link to this down in the description as well as the website here. Okay. Once that driver installs, it doesn't point it out. However, if you go, this is assuming you're on Windows 11, I'm going to go to All Apps. We're going to scroll down to T. Uh, we're going to bypass T by 300,000 things and then go back looking for it. Hold on, we're blind. You're going to have Thrustmaster FFB Racing Wheel. Right? Right? Now, 
you're going to go to firmware update. This is the first thing you want to do. And it's going to open this. Please select the device. What you do is once you open this, plug in the wheel. Um, you'll see the wheel is already here for me because I've already done this update. And it should automatically have version 35 here for you, but you want to update this to version 35. And it's going to look something like this when you do it. The wheel is going to move a whole bunch, which is fine. So just make sure you don't have the wheel sitting on something where it can roll away or what have you. I have it on a stand like thing. So just so you can see here again. So I have it on this like stand. I got this for free from my sister-in-law, so I just wanted to play with it and figured I didn't easily get it set up to uh, play. And once you do that, we can exit that program and the wheel should be pretty much set to go. Okay. All right, now the next thing, I'm playing Forza Horizon 5 with this. So you'll see, I can move the wheel and the car turns. I'm pressing the gas down below now. And I don't have to calibrate this or anything. Right out of the rip, but it, the wheel is a little too responsive, so you'll have to fix that with your own settings on whatever's comfortable for you. Now, the next thing to do is to make sure that the wheel is set up how you want it, though. So we're going to put this back on pause. And to do that, we're going to go back to the All Apps. Back to the Thrustmaster. We're going to click Control Panel. Don't just click Properties here. Make sure you click on the wheel and then click Properties. And you're going to get this screen. If you do this out of order, you're going to get a different screen that says like Calibrate and stuff. But that's not the one that you want. So, Rotation Angle, Combined Pedals, you know, that type of stuff. And this is where you can make sure all your steering wheel stuff is working. So if you hit the brake, clutch, you should see it light up here. I have the two pedal thing because it was free and I'm a mongoloid. Um, and this is, like I said, basic introductory steering wheel for the T-150 force pack. But if you guys were having trouble getting it to work on Forza Horizon or like try just plugging it in and playing. It doesn't work that way. This is how you get it up and running. And then you can go into settings and you can go into advanced controls. And now we can set uh, different steering things. So we can bump the inside dead zone for the steering wheel. up a little bit we can try setting it at 10 it's linearity you know acceleration deceleration clutch brake center spring wheel damper I mean you can set all of this stuff and now we should be able to yeah see that is much better we could actually probably turn this down to five or so does our gear shifter work yeah we could probably run this at five but now you can see pretty easy that this whole system is working 
and just so that you can see we'll go over here we'll turn on the webcam again and you'll see that when I turn the wheel here we're not touching any keyboards now we've got the wheel And guys, the wheel's not in front of me, so if I'm driving like shit, there's a reason. The wheel is off to my side. The gas pedals are down there. Uh, you can see. Once that's all set up, you're good to go with the wheel. Uh... Change the settings per each game that you want to play, whether it be like uh, Forza Horizon 5, which is what this is. Or uh, like Horizon, uh, the other Horizon, whichever one there is. This one's kind of fun. It's just an open world to kind of play or thing. I don't have this attached to the desk. Like I said, it's on a little stand. And I just set it up for shits and giggles. But hopefully you guys enjoy. This does also, uh, I've been told, work for the pro version of the steering wheel. Everything's the same, uh, aside from some servos and, and whatnot, I guess. I'm not a racing sim expert, guys. So if this helps you at all, please like the video, comment down below. Uh, hit the sub button. I, I just play shit. That's fun so if that's your kind of thing um i started this channel for this this reason i just enjoy if i find something that's helpful posting it here as well so keep dreaming